So what I'm gonna show you now is how to cook a beautiful fillet of Irish beef. We're gonna sear it off in the pan and then I'm gonna serve that with a sauce vierge. That's some tomatoes, some herbs, some lemon and some shallots, a little bit of olive oil. And then we're gonna serve that with a delicious parmesan and olive oil balsamic salad with some dressed rocket leaves. What we need to do is take it out of the fridge 30 minutes before you're gonna actually put it into the pan and it'll allow the meat to cook evenly when we place it into the oven. So I'm gonna season it with some salt and some pepper and then I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of oil. And I've got my griddle pan on again, smoking hot, and we're gonna place that piece of beef into the pan. Again, that sizzling sound is really important because I wanna get a good sear all around the edge of this meat. I'm gonna spend the next four or five minutes turning this piece of meat around to make sure I get a nice even sear all the way around. And then I've got a preheated oven at 190 degrees. And I wanna cook this beef today medium rare. So I'm gonna pop it into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna allow the meat to rest for another 15 minutes before I carve it up. And that'll give me perfect medium rare meat. Okay, so when you've seared the meat off and it's lovely and golden all the way around, just turn off your pan and we're gonna pop it onto a roasting tray and then it's gonna head into a preheated oven. So now what I'm gonna do is show you how to make a sauce vierge and a rocket and parmesan salad. So for the sauce vierge, you need three parts olive oil, so three tablespoons of olive oil to one tablespoon of lemon juice, which is about a half a lemon. So this is gonna make the basis of the sauce. I've got some different uh, cherry tomatoes here, and all I wanna do with them is I'm just gonna cut them up into quarters, and then cut the quarters in half. And they go in on top of the lemon juice and the olive oil. So after I've chopped up my tomatoes, what I wanna do is add in a couple of shallots. So then with your shallot, the root end of the shallot, so where it grows into the ground, you just want to keep nice and close to that. I'll show you why in a sec. Both sides, so nice and close. Because that's what holds the onion together when we're going to go and um, finely dice it. So then you just want to cut it in half and peel it. All we're going to do now, the end where the root is, you keep that to your left, I'm right handed. And then nice and close together. We just want to slice along, taking your time keeping your thumb behind your four fingers. That's how we slice up or dice up an onion nice and small. And then I'm gonna just change to my rocking or my chopping knife. And I'm gonna just run my knife through, nice and fine. And what I end up it with is a really finely diced shallot. We'll add that in to our sauce. And now all I wanna do is I wanna season that really well with a good bit of pepper. So pepper goes really, really well with beef. So I like lots of pepper in mine, but if you don't like lots of pepper, you don't have to add it in. A good pinch of salt. And in the recipe I've told you to use tarragon. Um, I couldn't get any tarragon, so I'm gonna use some basil instead. Same thing, I'm just gonna roll the herbs up and I'm gonna use that rocking motion again. chop up the basil and that gets added in and that's going to be the sauce to serve alongside of our beef and the other little thing that I'm going to serve along with the beef is a nice rocket and parmesan salad so again I'm going to make that dressing same as before I want three parts olive oil to one part balsamic so that's a general rule of thumb when you're making a dressing three parts oil to one part acidity I'm gonna give it another good season. Pinch of salt. And what I just wanna do then is I've got some washed rocket leaves. I'm gonna add them into my dressing. I've got some nice Parmesan cheese here. And that's gonna go on the top of my salad. Notice that I haven't mixed the salad together. I'll do that when I'm at the table. I've got my rocket and parmesan salad, and that's gonna be served alongside our fillet of beef. So, this dish was a healthy twist on a classic roast beef on a Sunday. 